Joining us now is political analyst Jim Warren, executive editor of NewsGuard, which rates the credibility of news and information sites. Good morning, Jim. Guys, how are you? Good, Good. to see you. Five things to know. Number one, all eyes on the Buckeyes. Yeah, uh, I think the most interesting race with uh, national implications was the Republican Senate primary race in Ohio. Two mainstream Republicans defeated by a MAGA pro-Trump Republican, a very isolationist strain. Uh, I think interestingly enough, too, if you look at exit polls, one third of the Republicans who voted yesterday in Ohio said they didn't think Trump won, they didn't think Biden won the 2020 election, and two thirds of them don't care if Donald Trump gets convicted of anything. Notably, a little bit like Illinois and the figures you just said, almost 20 percent voted for a Republican who's no longer on the, bat battle, on the ballot, uh, was on the ballot, Nikki but no Haley. longer in the race, Haley, DeSantis, or Christie. There'll be some wishful thinking about what happens with those. But also, if you're in Ukraine and you're Zelensky, you're not particularly happy because the victory of this guy underscores the real new isolationist strain in the Republican Party nationally. All right, how about the double haters don't budge? Yeah, it's interesting um, how many voters in Ohio and elsewhere say they're not particularly happy with either Biden or Trump. And only 2% of the voters say they like both guys. And particularly among those who are in the 18 to 29 group, they just seem to be very, very unhappy, which also then raises the question, what happens, if anything, to that DeSantis, Christie, Haley vote? There'll be at least some wishful thinking among Democrats that those votes can come their way. Point three, back home progressives take it on the chin. Yeah, the Cook County state's attorney's race and the tax referendum race. I mean, it looks like the tax thing has gone down. The state's attorney's race is really close. Well, however that comes out, it is clearly a defeat for uh, what had been who, who the incumbent uh, Kim Fox and what she stood for, a perception that somehow she was, you know, uh, coddling criminals. And it's, it's a real tough blow for folks on the left. I think for Brandon Johnson, there's no way to slice this other than it's a big defeat on the tax referendum. I went in and it was too complicated, it was too long, I didn't quite understand it, I wasn't sure what the, where the money was mm -hmm. going for. In his early stumbles as mayor, as a novice politician, this did not show great acumen when it comes to strategy or tactics or marketing a referendum like this. All right, point number four, geezers vote Gen Z text. Yeah, well, first of all, a depressing 20% turnout in Chicago, 20%, historically low. And who voted? Uh, like people we know, our parents and grandparents, uh, 55 to 75. Who didn't vote? It was the 18 to 24s. And once again, as we My get My mother in, just called and said she offe she's offended you called her a geezer. OK. <laughs> <laughs> um, some of our most upright, politically sensitive, educated citizens, like your mother, yeah. Yeah. went and voted, while the 18 to 24s unlike your mother, mm -hmm. uh, stayed at home. Yeah. And uh, that is uh, not a good thing. And, you know, you can only complain so long about the system if you don't get yeah. off your butt and vote. And real quick, point five, the more things change, the more they remain the same. Not a single incumbent congressman in the state of Illinois lost. They all won. And the epitome, as I watched GN last night, was 82-year-old Danny Davis, who's going back again. He's been going back since 1996. It is so close to impossible to uh, beat an incumbent. And when you think of, of the politicians we all know who've stepped out in the last year or so or are, are lame ducks or not running, why is that? It's Mike Madigan and Ed Burke, and that was because they were criminally indicted. So is is... That's your choice? I mean, you either got to get off your butt like your mom, mm. politically sensitive mother, mm -hmm. sorry, did, or I guess maybe you hope for federal prosecutors to take action. All right, Jim Warren, <laughs> thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Jim.